The National Association of Realtors reports that July home sales or home prices nationally were almost 2 percent higher than July of last year. However, Western states did not do as well. KTV's Tom Vakar spoke to a bedroom community broker who sees exactly what's happening every day in his town. He joins us live tonight from Alameda. Hi, Tom. Well, just think about it. In 2019, we were in a house selling frenzy. Uh, by the time the pandemic uh, got very mature, we were in some sort of a drought. And the question is, are we going to go back to a frenzy anytime soon? With mortgage rates at a 20 year high, home values have sunk with far fewer ready buyers. We've seen a decrease in prices over the last 16 months of probably anywhere from 10 to 20 percent depending on the neighborhood. Jeff Mann, a longtime broker realtor in Antioch's multi-generational family-owned Mann & Associates Better Homes Realty, says it looks like the decline of home prices may be over. I don't think the prices are going to continue to drop much more. While the number of homes for sale has edged up, they're still few and far between but even higher rates might still come. Unless they're leaving the region or the state, for most Bay Area homeowners, it's a very simple calculation. Why would I trade my low interest, low cost mortgage in exchange for another house with a far higher interest rate? That is why there are such few homes for sale. It's uncommon to have multiple bids. Most properties are available. A buyer can come in, purchase a home without competition. But depending on the home and its location, that's beginning to change. The hot properties are still seeing multiple bids, but they may be two, three, four bids at most, where a year, a year and a half ago, we were seeing 10, 15 bids on a property. While rates may increase again, many experts believe we're near the end of rate hikes and should begin declining. And if they can handle the higher payment or a larger down payment. In the near future, they may be able to improve that rate dramatically and make a, a good purchase. Examples, after the pandemic, demand for travel soared. After the 2007 housing collapse, five years later, home buying skyrocketed. It's called pent up demand and there's plenty of it for homes right now. There's a lot of buyers holding off at the moment due to the higher rates, and once they get when rates are going down or we see rates start to reduce, I think we're gonna see all those people jumping back into the market. Now, mortgage price tracker Black Knight says of the nation's 50 largest home markets, 30, 30 of 50 have set new record highs because sellers now often seeing those multiple offers are demanding higher prices. And so it goes. Tom Baker, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Tom, reporting live for us in Alameda. Tom, thank you. Mm -hmm.